morning, Mr. Kane. All right, so today our topic is about communication between sexes. Yeah, so um, uh, yeah, we, we can discuss and then try to find out uh, which is the second question of the topic, which is do men and women have different approach uh, to communicate? Mm. Yeah, so, um, so today we focus on men and then women, their communication be, uh, between different sexes. And so first question to you, uh, do you think men and women, uh, the difference between communications uh, uh, is something existed? Yeah, I do think so. Okay, yeah, so um, uh, for me also, I yeah, I think there are some different in general, uh, of course, we uh, of course. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think uh, before that, mm. Mm, yeah, I I need to say, you you ask me, do I think the communication between men and women yeah. is there any difference? Yeah, I do think so, but I also think that mm. the communication between men and men, or women and yeah. women, also got difference. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I think this is this is the idea, and mm. and I don't like I don't like myself to being fixed in your questions and make you uh, mislead your understanding. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so we have like uh, three situation. First is men and men. Second is women. With, uh, and women, and third is men and women, right? Or you can summarize into one. <clears throat> yeah, people and people, mm -hmm. person and person. Or even mm -hmm. you can, or, or even you can summarize into like this, the creation or the living thing. Yeah. Okay. Do, do you think is there any? Do you think is there any communication different between human and animal, human and your dog? <clears throat> mm, yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 So um yeah, what makes the difference uh between men and men and men and women? Yeah, I think uh we may try to find out. Uh the difference here, yeah, I think we're not talking about the topic difference. It is not right. It is like the approach uh that we communicate. Um, for example, I think uh, I, I think for women they are generally more uh, uh, more emotional. It's, it's emotional. Mm. I want to say the words which is "感性" uh, to care more about uh, the emotion, and for men on the other side, generally uh, are more uh straightforward are uh, more direct uh you can say it is like rational yeah so um do you think this is one of the uh factor that make the difference mm -hmm. uh, i asking me why is a factor make this uh, sorry uh are you asking me which factor make this difference? Um, yeah, uh, ju just now I gave uh, one of my thinking, which is I think uh, one is rational, one is like more emotional. And uh, yeah, whether you think this is uh, one of the factors that make the communication approach different. Mm. So is this a difference? Is this a causation or is this something? It, I mean, is is this a <coughs> is it a consequence or is this the 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 cause? Is it an effect or is it a cause? Um. Yeah, I think the, I think this is a a cause of uh, the difference. Then why is the cause of the cause? Uh, the cause of the cause, which means uh, why women are more emotional and men are more rational is it mm. 
uh, yeah, actually, I have no idea why. Maybe it's because of uh, the structure of the brain differences between men and women. Hmm. I think this is regarding to the. I like to say it's regarding to the gene or DNA, mm. something biological. Mm. Yeah. And this is and also regarding to the hormones. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So this I is know. a bio this is a biological difference, I would say. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's more accurate word. Yep. Yeah, so uh yeah, so biological difference is uh uh, really exist here, right? So, uh, uh, so what is the what what can be some different uh, here? Mm, yeah, my thinking is uh, sometimes men are more rational, and then we can really when we are communicating, we can directly say out what is uh, the things that we want to do, and then. Uh, the things that we say are more direct to the task, and uh, maybe we care less about uh, um, we care less about the the emotion part. We can mm. say out something directly uh, without without having to concern so much about maybe like other people's feeling. Will I hurt the uh, relationship? Of course, we do, but not that focused on that, right? Mm. Yeah, but for women, um, yeah, for women, sometimes uh, I don't know because uh, in my life, I seldom, uh, I I seldom, uh, contact with women actually. In my house, only my mother is female, <laughs> and then uh, right now I have a girlfriend, and then other than that, female friends, yeah, I don't have a close female friends. Uh, to communicate and then previously in my job also there is one two female only yeah so uh, um, so in in your in your work right now uh, do you have female colleagues or mm, maybe yeah. do you have uh, close yeah. female friends or what uh, talk about my my female college and Mm. Yeah, to be honest, I don't, I don't see any big difference here. Mm. I mean, see so communications. How, oh, how about when uh, you have a task, and then, uh, so when we are, uh, you are discussing something about the task, uh, they can also be direct, right, in work. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. So actually, I. Well, what do you mean, direct? Uh, which is like, uh, sometimes I feel like when we want to say something, and then uh, men will just directly say out. And for women, maybe they don't uh, directly say out, and uh, they will care about the emotion, care about the feeling. What do you mean, not direct to say out? Do they say, or do they not say? And what way? Give some example. Um, um, okay, for example, when dealing with uh, dealing with colleagues, and yeah, if you think one of the one of the things that your colleague do is like not not so good, or maybe mm -hmm. you don't like the way that they did. Uh, sometimes men, mm. Mm. yeah, you say sometimes men will directly say out, but most of the men uh. will not say out. Why they want to? Why they want to point out other people' weakness? Mm. Mm. Do a lot of men do this? No, I would say. Mm. Yep. Yeah, how many how many of your friends point out your weakness in the past? In the past, yeah, seldom. Mm. 
Hmm. Ya. Tidak. But they are your friend. Why they don't point out your weakness? Right? Hmm. Hmm. So the question is, no people would really kind of want to criticize somebody for 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 no reasons. They don't have to do so. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. And even though, for example, you have an idea, yep. and even though you, you do the task for a long time, let's say, for example, you invest in crypto and you know this is, this is a task or this is an area which is very, very controversial. Uh, controversial. Mm. And you don't share it with your friends, even though mm. you are men, yep. not necessarily you are women. And maybe in this case, ooh, Maybe in this case, female which uh, were more likely to share to their friends. Mm. Yeah, I also think so. Right? Mm. Mm. So you cannot like really put a general theory on it. I mean, sir, you can, you can, but you got no, uh, you you got you got no implication here. Mm. This is my opinion. Mm. Yeah. Right. So, um, so uh, in your case, in during during work and uh, dealing with women, and you found you actually found no difference, right? Uh, mm. No, not much different. Uh, when maybe cooperate with a female colleague and cooperate with man colleague, right? Mm. I mm. mean, I I'm not sure. I don't know others, but for me, I just be myself. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And to to me, they all are the same. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. And of yeah. course, some of some of them will will be more passive. Yeah. Of course, this is the personality. And even though for some of the men, they also mm. will be more passive. Mm. Yeah. So this is not the uh, not a very obvious personality difference between sexes, right? Men and women. Uh, in men, we still have passive and uh, active. Women also. Some of them are active, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. And uh, just now, actually, I want to say, like, uh, I feel like women are more like uh, are more willing to listen than men. Uh, um, yeah, this is my thinking when, like. If you if you have a male boss and a female boss, and uh, or maybe like supervisor or your superior, or maybe your colleagues, uh, do you think women are more likely, uh, are more willing to listen, are more patient uh, to listen to something you want to talk to them? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, at least at least I don't see the thing like this. Mm. Yeah. I mean, sir, what are you trying to 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 do? Are you kind of like seeking my my opinions or what? Because it, it looks weird to me. Yeah, and I wish you can have some pushback. For example, I I think mm. communications. Between sexes have no, by by knowing those differences has no implication. But since you came out this topic and then you sure think there's an implication, right? Mm, yeah, actually, I, uh, yeah, this is an old topic, and right now I actually mm. try to find out what is the difference first. I mm. I also found that, uh, in my if you ask me, I say, yeah, there are difference. But if you ask me what, what the difference is, and I found that actually the difference is not very clear. And uh, for example, like whether they are more uh, active and passive, we couldn't find a clear uh, difference between the sexes. 
And uh, so just now I asked you whether you think uh, women are more likely to be a listener and they're more patient and talk uh, when communicate. Mm. Okay, to me, if you if you ask me the question, I would say you can base the reasoning from the biological point of view. Okay. So if you're standing from biological differences, you can see and men can be rude. Men can be aggressive mm. and women less likely to be rude will be aggressive. Mm. And um, the quarrels can can turn into a fight between men, but it seldom happens in women because first they care about their image and second because the environment also their sexes, their biological make them less likely and cultivate them not to have this kind of way to fight. They can use other way to fight. Mm. Yeah, they can they can they can do something um, behind behind the scenes. Mm. And men less likely will do this. Yeah. Men like to fight. Mm. Uh in front of the show. Mm. But women yeah. don't like to do that. Women, if they want to hurt somebody, they will do behind the behind the scenes. Mm. Mm. And also, men is less likely to seek for protection, but women will. This mm. is a biological difference. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And so we can link to other men are not likely to kind of like. Mm, keep following people as but women I okay this thing mm, I, I don't think I don't think this is this is positive because sometimes you for you you choose you choose a side and then it's a wise and women they, because they, they don't like to have the have the trouble they they, they don't they don't want to create trouble. They also don't want them involved in the trouble. So they will seek for peace. Yeah, rather than maybe um, a disrupt a disruption before the improvement. Mm. Mm, okay. Uh yeah, I, I actually I, I'm not very sure uh what you want to say. Is it something like Let's say we, now we want to do some improvement, and uh, before this, men, uh, may, men will directly, uh, men won't care about conflicts or uh, maybe bigger argument. Is it something like that? And yeah, men were more likely to overcome the argument, overcome the conflict, to achieve the goal. But women less likely to do that. Mm. And you, you also can see the their value are different. Men not mm, on the on the societal level is this and on the individual level and a, a a collective individual because you see many individuals form a form form a societies and also many women would think yeah they will care more about their family. They came, they care more about the the child. Yeah. And also you can see, let's say on the work, mm. who, would, who would take the lead to take care of the child, men or women? Most likely it's women. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And when there's some event, yeah, need the attendant or parent, yeah, Women more likely to attend mm. or men. Yeah. So it means that women more likely to take leave for men. And also when something happens, 
is men more likely to like quit the job and do the kind of like the the, the house husband. Yeah, totally, 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 totally leave the labor market compared to women if there's something big happens. Yeah, mm. is women likely to do that? So you can see that the value is different here. Mm. Mm. So it must create some difference. And it, it may not necessarily be the be the sex difference, but sex definitely amplified this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh so this is mm, yeah, I, I think this is starting from biology also. And yeah, yeah, right. Uh, to what they what they did, uh mm. what they're responsible to, uh so that they have different value. Like you say, uh maybe women care uh the child, the family, and men are responsible to uh to, to earn to earn money and then do the finance part. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this yep. is how I think. Mm. Yep. So uh how about this the the first the first point that you made uh before this, uh which is like men are uh more um men can overcome the conflicts and arguments and women uh, they choose different ways uh, for this one also you start from biology which is like uh, because men are more aggressive they are stronger in uh, biologically their voice mm. may be uh, big, uh, bigger they have bigger voice mm. than women they are more easier they are easier to dominate to be dominant mm. uh, in, in that place physically and yeah so uh from this point when men communicate to women uh is there any uh implication uh we can get from here mm. maybe okay. we care more mm -hmm. about women's mm, uh emotion or what uh what do you mean yeah, because uh, for here I, I found that when men communicate with women, uh, there are some Mr. Nice Guy's personality. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know yeah, for right. me, but for me. Yeah, right. Uh, this also seems like come out from. Uh, uh, yeah, there are some, I think there are some relation between, uh, between here, which is like starting from biology and then uh, men generally stronger than women uh i mean uh physically and biologically and uh when men want to maybe get something uh to uh some of the men choose to like please please the woman and then uh there are some mr nice guys personality mm. but just some you say men is more aggressive Many mm. is more direct, but why comes into the communications with the different sex, women, men mm. to women, they kind of like, yeah, kind of like change, change, change the whole, change the whole style of communication. Mm. Yeah, at first we think they are dominant, uh, but but women are aren't so weak. I think they maybe they just uh, you you think they. They couldn't, uh, they couldn't win the argument, maybe, but uh, they're also not weak. They won't just uh, agree with you, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they they won't just agree with you. So uh, if you want to get something, maybe you still couldn't. Yeah, of course, mm, because human action. Mm. People can think, people can act. Mm. You can't really control someone's life. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So my thinking is, uh, in let's say in communication, in an argument, men maybe they can, uh, uh, they are more likely to control the conversation. 
to control the argument, dominant, but it doesn't mean that a uh, man really? gets what he wants at the end. Really? Do men really control the conversation? Mm, yeah, because in uh, when men think of what he wants and uh, he know that if he if he do that, if he go go straight and then to win the argument, they couldn't get the result. They couldn't get the the maybe the woman's uh, approval, something like that. So they choose another way. So become like they maybe keep quiet, uh, less talk, uh, not become dominant. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, and and some of them develop into Mr. Nice Guy's personality. Mm, but just now, just now you agree that, or maybe you also say that man is more aggressive. Mm, yep. Yeah. Man is. More likely to take the control, many is more dominant. Yeah. My question is why when it comes to the conversation, yeah, for men to women, mm. they change the style of communication. Mm. Have you any problem talk to a man? Uh Sorry. Have have you faced any trouble oh. talk to men? Talk to men mostly do you, not. Yeah. Do you do you even need to find out how to talk to men? Uh no. You don't even need you, you don't even need to think about it, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah. But now you, you kind of like think about how to talk to a woman. Right? Mm. Mm. So yeah. why? Why you need to think about it? Mm. Yeah, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And how about a child? Do you really need to think about how to communicate with a child? Do you really need to think about how to communicate with the old guy? I mean, this is not your, this is not your child. Okay. And also, it's not your parents, it's not your grandparents. Mm. You are not trying to convince on something. You are not trying to influence a decision. You just talk to somebody. Mm. Just like you talk to your friend. You are not trying to control them. You just talk to them. Mm. You just want to communicate with them. Yeah. Then how to talk to your friend's child, how to talk to your friend's parents, how to talk to your friend's grandparents. Do you face any problem? Do you even need to form a strategy? Do you even need to form a tactic? to talk to them. Do you no. even think about it? No. Yeah, maybe a little so, bit of attitude change. Yeah, a little bit of attitude change. But mm. that's it. Yeah. We don't need to spend a lot of time thinking, yeah, practicing, <laughs> rehe re rehearsing and mm, in order to get a better performance. But when you talk to your friend's sister, Maybe mm. little sister. Yeah. And a beautiful one. Mm. Mm. You change your style. Mm. Or you talk to another girl. Maybe your college. Maybe your classmates. Mm. Mm. Or maybe even your students. <laughs> you change your style. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, there are some Mr. Nice Guys personality here. But for yeah, but I think for opposite sex and then maybe the age is uh especially when age are uh, around there. Not only men change the style when speaking with women, but I think women also change a little bit uh when talking with men. Is it just an attitude change or is this they think about it a lot of time? They form a strategy, they're practicing. You have to think about tactic, talk to a man. You ask some women, you ask your friends, you ask your mother, you ask your girlfriend, do they ever think about this before? Thought about this before? Mm, yeah, <laughs> I think it's just a, some attitude change. Mm. Mm. 
And also you, you can you can see that between men and women when they mm. communicate with the different sex. Yeah. Which which sexes are more change more like, are likely are likely to be themselves. Mm. Yeah, and also which sex are more I mean sir, okay, change themselves doesn't mean that Mm. Okay, uh, I would say a lot of women they also will change themselves to get what they want. Mm. Mm. They can become like like more gentle, talk more softly yeah. to get what they want. They can like act weaker. Mm. Yeah, they cannot open a bottle. Help you, uh, ask you to help them open. Mm. So it link it linked to one of our topic, the life as an experiment. They know to express their witness. They know to kind of like signal. Signal, let you know that or act act that they are weak. Mm. And then they can get what they want. Yeah. Yeah, they acknowledge your power to get what they want. They acknowledge your generosity, they acknowledge your power to get mm. what they want. Mm. Mm. But does it mean that you can but does it mean that you can get what you want? No. Yeah. If you want to if you want to cross over the line, they will say stop. Yeah, they will scream. Mm. They, will, yeah. they will assist the uh they will ask the help from others, from 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 other people, from their another from another male friend, mm. yeah, to warn you, not contact her anymore. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I think here you can find out a lot of differences, but why is the intention? Why is the purpose? Is the effective? Yeah. Are you trying to just reduce differences? And by reducing the differences, does it mean that the situation will become better? You want to be a man. You don't want you don't want to be a female. <laughs> yeah. 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 The girl you like can talk hours. An hour with her, with her another female friends. But do you want to? But do you want to engage the same conversations, the same type of conversation? By engaging the same type of conversation, you cannot get the girl. You cannot cross the line. And girl don't want this. Yeah. They, they already have their female friend. Why they need a male as her female friend? Mm. It's so dangerous. Yeah. And based on the biological uh, factors, she will not. She will not. Okay, first she will not totally trust you. Yeah, when you. And even though she trusts you, but when you have some suspicious behavior, they'll kind of like turn the trust to the trust. Mm, yep. And the second, this is a different thing. Yeah. This is a different type of relationship. Friendship is different from the romantic relationship. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Will you certainly love men? <laughs> mm. Yeah. How about you think your best friend mm. change their change their gender? Yeah. Become a trans uh tra transgender. Okay. <laughs> and and he he has all the function. Yeah. She can perform just like uh just as women. 
Mm. And you you like you you like him because um, it is so fun to talk to talk to him and mm. you you share yep. the same belief with yep. him. But <laughs> even though you you know this and he changed he changed his gender, but will you will you kind of like make him become your girlfriend? She already become a girl. Right. Mm. Will you? Not likely, mm. right? Yeah, they're just the feeling mm. is different, the sense mm. is different. Yeah. yeah, it's not just about gender, male or female. Mm. This is a feeling. This is how you form a relationship with, with, with the culture part. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so by knowing the differences cannot help you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a, a important point for this topic. Uh, differences are there, but we don't necessarily need to reduce the differences. And yeah, I think we should ask first the first question. Do we have problems communicating with different sex? Uh, mm. If if your answer is no, then yeah, uh, there is very little point to 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 actually talk about this topic to discuss the difference uh, because yeah, little insight you can you can you can get because there is there is already no problems communicating with different sex. Yeah, and communication is. Is if if you don't have any differences, why if you don't have any gaps, why do you need to communicate? You don't need to talk. Mm. You raise your hand, people know what you want to say. Yep. Right? You don't need communication anymore. Mm. Because there's a differences, because there's a they don't know what you know, you don't know what they know. Mm. So you come both of you communicate and comes into a consensus. Mm. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And so when you talk about a difference, mm. so when you talk about communi communication differences in the differences, is is kind of like mm, asking whether egg first or, or chicken first, something mm. like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and uh, I think maybe what we can focus is not about the difference here is about uh, the, our first topic, listening skill. Uh, of course, that can be used between the same sex communication and different sex communication. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And also like re 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 between the line. Oh, ah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right, so uh, yeah, I think um, this is all what I want to talk. Mm, and I, yeah, I also I also have nothing to add in. Mm, all right, so I think we stop here. So talk to you tomorrow. Mm, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye.